Hello lovebirds, I am here to show you how to change your display name in Gmail and also in all of your other Google accounts if you uh, need to do that. I'm not going to show you Google Plus related features because that's a little bit different and most of my clients are intentionally using email addresses that are not associated with their normal primary Gmail um, because they're using them specifically for online dating. So we're just focusing on essentially your like stealth email, your fake email, your non-primary email. So here we go. I know this is a little crazy. Virginia the Lioness is one of my silly um, fake Gmail addresses that I use to, to demonstrate this kind of thing. So sign into your Gmail. That's mail.google.com or gmail.com. And once you're in your Gmail, I'm going to show you where to change this name in two different places, just in case. So place number one is in your settings. You go over here to this uh, gear-shaped icon that uh, shows settings when you mouse over it. Click on it and mouse down to the settings link. Okay, once you're in settings, click accounts. And now we're going to make two changes here. So you can see that I've already changed my display name once because it doesn't say Virginia the Lioness. It says Virginia is awesome. That's great. We're going to change it back to something else. First of all, go over to the edit info link here. And you probably only have one account here because I'm weird and I have multiples. <laughs> um, so you can see that the default name would have been Virginia the Lioness. And this alternate name that I had already created is Virginia is awesome. I'm going to change it to Virginia Rocks. Not, not too crazy here. And I'm going to save. You can see now that it changes my send mail as name to Virginia Rocks. What that should mean is that when I send mail to people from this address, this is the name that shows up in their inbox. So let's pop back over to the inbox to see what I'm talking about. See this email right here from Gmail team? You can see that the actual email address is mail no reply at google.com, but the display name for that email is Gmail team. So that's what we're trying to, to adjust here. Now, for what it's worth, the way that Google works um, is they attach this email address and identity to a lot of services besides just Gmail. So even though I think we've changed what we need to, for good measure, we're also going to change the name in the actual Google account. Okay? So to do that, mouse over your Gmail address and click that little arrow that's right to the right of it to bring down a menu. Okay, and it's going to show Virginia the Lioness, Virginia the Lioness at gmail.com. See, so it's not showing the name that we just changed it to. It's showing what it thinks is my primary Gmail or my primary Google account name, not just Gmail. So we're going to go to account to change that. Click on this little account link here. Okay, so now we're in our actual deep Google account, not just Gmail, but everything. See right here where it says Virginia the Lioness? This is where I can edit it. Now I can change what my last name is to rocks. Now this is a more thorough way to affect the same change that we, we changed in Gmail because this will populate for other Google services if we were ever to use this email address for other Google services such as, you know, YouTube, um, you know, Google Calendar, all sorts of stuff. And you probably aren't going to be using this alternate email address with all those services because if you're my client, this is probably just your alternate account that you use for stealthy online dating stuff so that you don't, you know, expose your entire personal information to strangers on the internet right away. But you may find this uh, helpful for, you know, your primary Gmail account too if you want to change the way it's displayed. You know, back a few decades ago, a lot of people always had Karen's work and Karen's home or something like that as their sort of display name for email. And people are shifting away from that sort of thing now. Um, you know, the more cloud-based, more mobile, the more smartphone-y we get, the more we all kind of use the same email address and it doesn't matter where we are. So this is a good little tip to know how to change in general. Um, but just know that this does change things broadly. And I don't have a Google Plus profile associated with this Google account, but if you do, you might need to dig into Google Plus here and make some changes too. So just to remind you how we got to this secret area outside of Gmail is we went up to our account, we pulled down the little menu, and then we selected account. So I hope that helps you guys. I'm going to sign on out now and let you continue with your internet business. But good luck and let me know if you have any questions. Cheers.